of love. Have you ever wondered what's better, touch or controller? Well, today we are going to find out. We are going to have each rank from gold to GC um, 1v1, and we are going to determine what is better, touch or controller. Let's get into it. Here we go. Okay, on the left side, we have Guapo, who is our controller player. And on the right side, we have Max, who is touch. This is uh, gold versus gold, obviously. And this is the brand new spectating game mode. I guess it's not a game mode, but I guess feature. Um, and already... Wait, he has a poof? You play that much? Jeez, man. Okay. He's been grinding. Okay. Guapo's looking a little questionable right now. Okay. You're telling me golds can stall out here? Way better than me when I was a gold. Okay. Let me know down in the comments. Do you think controllers are going to win or touch uh, will win? Honestly, I think it's going to be pretty close. I think um, if everyone uh, is true and doesn't lie about their ranks, we should pretty much get uh, close matches all the way up until probably GC. Because with GC, it's pretty uh, apparent which one's higher than others. Um, usually like top 10 GCs can pretty much roll everybody else. But never know. Here we go. Oh, getting one back. Okay, not bad, not bad. One thing that I will say is both of their boost management, quite awful. Like, if you're just watching when they're using boost, you should only really be using boost when they're in the air. All right, it's 4-3. 10 seconds left. Max needs to make something happen here. Trying to 50 it by him. Not able to. Four seconds. Three. Two. Using almost all of his boosts. Guapo in control here. Ooh. Okay. Keeping it alive is Max. He used almost all of his boosts here. Let's see if he can stall. Misses the first one. Grabs the second one. Tries to get the ceiling pinch. And the double will mean controller is 1-0. Uh, Not bad. Okay, we are here in game number two. Uh, again, the left side is going to have our controller player. On the right is our touch player. Let's see what Code Baby Yoda can do. And this is obviously Platinum versus Platinum. Okay, getting the double. Ooh, missed. Okay, got the reset. Got another reset. Waiting. Both of their cars kind of drippy, not going to lie. Can he pop it up? Ooh, barely misses. How did he get that goal? I have no idea. Haven't seen a single stall yet um, either, but it is 1-1. One, one. I love spectating. Spectating is actually such an improvement. Like, just the fact that the camera's moving with the ball. Oh, my. Love it. Okay, Code Baby Yoda, up by one. Again, not a single... Oh, not a single stall. And I don't think I've seen a gold shot yet. And I do see that they're uh, having diamond titles. So, I think they're going off their current rank, which I don't really have a problem uh, with. Just because it's so close. Because at the end of the day, we're just seeing if uh, the controller players win more than the touch players do. Or vice versa. Okay, gets the reset. Doesn't do anything with it. Oh. Gets a purple. Code Baby Yoda got the stall, but doesn't do anything with it. Again, their boost management, really, really bad. Missing the gold shot. Oh, but he finally lands one. He finally does, in fact, land one. One second on the clock. And touch. Could be striking back here. Okay. And GG's. Meaning it is 1-1. One, one. Controller is now tied with touch. All right. It is tied 1-1. One, one. 
Let's see who pulls away with it here. Again, left side is controller, right side is controller, or sorry, right side is touch. Um, and this is diamond. So we have Blaze being our touch player and the question marks, uh, or Slayer, I don't know how he got it to be all question marks, um, is our controller player. So here we go. Already, I'm kind of seeing pretty similarities uh, between, wow, uh, between the plat and diamonds, honestly. Okay, let's see what you can do, Slayer. Oh, he has full boost, but again, not doing anything. He could have manually flicked it up. He could have stalled. He could have purple shot. Optimization is not here. Uh, again, okay, that was pretty good, actually. I like the patience. He bought the orange electroshock. I can't tell if I like it or hate it. <clears throat> All right, 1-1 one, one with 42 seconds on the clock. Blaze being patient with his flip. Doesn't use it for anything, though. Okay. Can you get a stall? Misses. Just opts to go low. Ooh. Manages to get it right over. Okay. Touch is up by one. 20 seconds. Here we go. And it is tied. Okay. Wow. This is as close as it could be. Wow. Oh, nice. And this is looking... I was going to say it looks almost completely done, but Blaze has one opportunity and unable to capitalize. This is the final push. Zero seconds on the clock. Can he clutch up here? Misses, and that will be it. 2-1 in favor of controller players. All right. We are here with our last... Or sorry, we are here with our second to last matchup. I am playing for the champ controller players. And I play right to left, which is why I'm not on the left side. Uh, but I am on controller, obviously. And you guys might think that I would count as a GC, but I've never had uh, hit GC in ones. So I don't technically count. Um, so yeah. I know it might be a little unfair, but I definitely don't think I deserve uh, ones GC. He is pretty solid, though, I will say. I did miss my stall. That could be a goal. Going over top. It's so hard to talk and play ones at the same time, actually. Oh, wow. That's a goal. Nice shot. There's not much I could have done there. All right, 2-1. Okay, nice. I probably should have just gone for it there. Wow, I got lucky. I lose that 50 most times, not gonna lie. I think the one thing that you can notice from like now to like the plat players is literally we are saving our flips till the last second. And that's the like one of the biggest difference you can see in gameplay. Like, if you're using your flip when you uh, basically don't have possession of the ball, you're pretty much at a disadvantage, if that makes sense. I kind of choked. Wait. Please no. Please no. Please no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Two seconds. <laughs> Everyone close your eyes. Everyone close your eyes. Okay. Oh, no. He could have scored that. Wow. I barely won, but now let's go on to GCs. Wow. Okay, with our final matchup, we have Nader playing for our GC uh, controller player, and then we have Katsmack, who is our touch. Both of them, I believe, were top 100 at one point. Uh, both insanely cracked. Ooh. Already, you can see the gold shots coming out. Literally every shot has been gold. Ooh, wow. Ch early choke coming out from the touch players. Good clear. 
Honestly, I'm impressed with how flawless the spectating mode is. There's almost no lag. Okay. Gold shot again. Okay. Stall. Purple. Misses the initial. Ooh, somehow finding a gap. That is uh, BN getting a four or er, early goal. <clears throat> okay, cat smack. Double. That did not look like a gold drop, but somehow making it work. And cat smack making it go top shelf. 1-1. One, one. Yeah, NZR, he dropped so much, man. It was insane. Ooh. Solid save. Nade has... Ooh. I was going to say he's almost own gold. Nade has almost full boost here. Let's see if he can get a counter attack. Ooh. That phased right through him. But Katzmack will definitely take it. Okay, and... Ooh, missed the gold shot at the end. I don't think we've seen a single uh, shot without a stall. And that is 3-1 in terms of uh, Katzmack. Honestly, this was really close. I think a lot of people are going to say, like... You picked really bad controller players, or you picked really bad touch players, but these were all picked randomly from chat. Um, and honestly, no matter what uh, input method you use, I think it's pretty uh, pretty common to see the same mechanics at each rank. Um, and overall, I would say whatever you're most comfortable with is probably the best uh, option. Like, obviously, Cat Smack is insane, and so is Nade, and it's only a matter of one goal. But Touch is falling a little short today, uh, taking two out of five, and uh, Controller, therefore, getting three. If you guys enjoyed this video, uh, definitely leave a like, and uh, definitely come check me out on Twitch, where I film all of these live. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.